Hey guys, hopefully everybody's having a good Monday morning. And if not, hopefully your day gets better. Long story short, yesterday I was at work and I had a very irate customer come in and he was very irate. And he didn't come in there to buy anything, he just came in there to verbally express how he feels and I almost thought physically too. Well, he kind of physically ex was explaining how he felt. Um, long story short, our cuts, thin cut pork chops are from the boneless loin and our other pork chops that are the bone in is from the bone in roast, sirloin bone in roast. Um, he thought that we were taking the cuts from the sirloin bone in roast cutting around the bone and putting the fattier pieces in the back of the boneless loin chops. And I told them no, you know, I tried explaining to them and everything that no, that's all from the boneless loin. Um, that's just the fattier pieces in the back. We usually do that for presentation so that way you want the better pieces to be seen first. You don't want the fattier pieces to be seen and I was trying to explain that to him, co-worker. <laughs> no, I was trying to explain that to him and he just, he wasn't having it. And yeah, I didn't know what else to say. So I went back to stocking the chicken wings and he threw a package at me and it didn't hit me or anything like that, but he threw a package at me and that's when he started getting, getting into my face and trying to tell me that I was wrong, it's all a bunch of BS. And I told them, look, I see where this converse I see where this is going and I don't want to participate in this conversation any longer. And so I mean I was calm and collective, cool as a cucumber, and he got mad when I said that and then proceeded to get closer in my face and started yelling and saying that I was cheating people. And so I told him, you know what? You know, still remaining calm, even though I was feeling the opposite. I wasn't feeling scared, but I was feeling like, you know what? If you lay hands on me, that's it. And I'm usually not like that, but I'm not gonna stand around and let somebody do something to me either. But anyway, I told him, look, I'll be more than happy to go in the back, get our cut of meat, and I'll show you. Went in the back to get one of the long, whole, boneless pork loins. And when I came out, he was gone. I looked to my right, and there was a few packages of, four or five packages of the tostada shells that were, that's next to the meat department, that were all over the floor. And I didn't see him do it, but most likely he did. Knocked him over. Um, man, mind you, uh, this was a man in his 60s that was acting like a child. Um, he stormed off out of the store. Uh, another customer said that he was driving very erratically when he pulled into the parking lot. Could have hit somebody. But you know what? I understand the frustrations of high prices. You want good quality. I totally get that, you know, because he was asking me, I asked him, well, do you want me to talk to the manager? Do you want to talk to the manager? He goes, no, you said you're the one that packs the meat. I go, yeah, but I'm not the one. I'm the one who's told how to present this package. And so it, it's one of those like, look, I'm just doing my job. I'm doing what I'm told. You know, I'm not out to cheat you. I'm not personally out to cheat anybody. Um, in 14 years, I've never had this problem at all. And, you know, I told management about it. And they're, you know, I told them, you know, just for safety reasons, you know, just to keep an eye out. And they were more concerned about their reputation for their meats. Oh, well, you know, they started thinking, well, maybe you can do it this way or do it that way so it doesn't become an issue. Yeah, okay, I'll give them that. But I almost felt like they they don't value 
their employees as much as what they should. I'm not going to mention the name of the store or anything, but I just, I feel like they don't value us. Um, they're more worried about their reputation. They're more worried about cutting corners when it comes to things. I'm, I'm just going to stop there. I'm just going to stop there. But, uh, you know, I mean, I understand from a business perspective, money is the bottom line. I get that. But at the same time, when you're putting money over your employees, I mean, your, your loyal, hardworking employees, that's what I should say. Um, all right, guys, that's my thoughts for today. I, uh, I'm warming up the car right now, getting ready to go to work. Um, I really don't complain a whole lot, but you know what? Um, I just thought I would share that. But all right, guys, um, I got to go to the dentist later on today. So today's only a half day for me at work. I'm going to be in the back cutting the new meat wrapping guy. He's going to be coming back. Hopefully he's coming back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was just, I think I need to pray about it. Because I was thinking of not so nice things about this man. Um, nothing horrific, but I just, I don't know. Alright guys, bye!